Welcome back to Starcast TV Cast, and I am Scan. And today I am joined by Flash for the win. Tonight we are going to cast on fantastic game between Ty versus Ruin, Ruin versus Ty, and spawning location in the bottom left corner, teal color. This is Ty. And the other side, the orange Prados spawning the spawning spawning location in the top left corner. This is Ruin. Okay, so we did a previous cast on Ty. It showed very high level skill, even though it was a Starcraft uh, Star Starcraft Two player, but uh, showed high APM. Uh, Ty is known for his high APM um, in both both games. So um, we'll see if he uh, exhibits a similar style with the uh, mass vulture running around. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about Ruin Scan? Ruin, if I remember correctly, I heard that he joined in an STX soul before so he was uh, he was pro gamer as well and he, by that time i think he was in a, like a b team so he wasn't able to play any offline stage but he did achieve something in starcraft 2 i i heard he was also a pro gamer in starcraft 2 as well yeah actually on Wikipedia he said uh, it says that he had a winning record in starcraft 2 so not a bad career there um, we're on the map Shakur's Temple for this game. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about the map layout? What strategies you expect to see from uh, the two players here in this uh, Terran vs. Pardos game? Mm, this type of map like Shakra's Temple, there's a lot of expansion right next to each. So in this kind of map, I think both players will like to, would like to go for heavy macro game. And let's see if T White would like to go with uh, three base into two on upgrade push, or kind of like splitting up the map and taking another base and kind of make the game longer. And there's oh, a SCV. There's a SCV going down. T White did not yeah, react. We're, we're doing a really good job here with the probe. Also, uh, at the meantime, stole the gas, and now he's got a zealot running across the map. Uh, looks like it's going to be the uh, Zealot expansion style here from Ruin. The probe does finally go down. Mm, now, TY might need to make a decision whether he wants to go for... There is there is a command center going down. Without Scout, TY has no vision. He's completely blind. He does not know what's coming up next. Yep. Meanwhile, I got three guys. Attacking the assimilator, trying to get that down as fast as possible. The Zealot will reach the base here and will scout out this very fast command center. TY is going to have to react and uh, make sure he doesn't lose any more of these SCVs. The one SCV very badly damaged at 14 HP. A little dance right now to try to keep them away from the Zealot. Oh, the SCV oh. goes down. Picked up one SCV. That, that really hurts in the beginning for TY. And now pulling yeah. four workers just to defend this one Zealot har harassment. Yeah, second Zealot is there right now. He also rested on the Marines a little bit, so he doesn't have as many Marines as he normally should. A uh, couple of CVs taking down to low health once again. And he's trying to pull back the Marines to the Supply Depot high ground. There we go, inside of the safe wall. But another SCV. <laughs> All these SCVs right now very badly damaged here for TY. TY is right now struggling a lot because he had no vision, kind of gambled on the strategy where, where he wanted to go for X expansion, but the Zealot arrived to Terran's natural so fast and Ruin is buying a lot of time here and at the same time like the previous game uh, Mote vs TY he, he has gone for Zealot expansion and this is also a Zealot expansion again for Ruin yep and now with another SCV going down here and this last Zealot will finally pay off one more Marine before he starts running away here there's too many Marines now for the Zealots to get that much damage but so far i think that rune has had a very successful zealot attack here true both of the both players worker count now rune has more workers with second base already saturated that's not looking good for ty and ty now sending out the scv scout very very late he's still playing blind essentially to rune um but you know he sees how many zealots are being made do you think he should know what rune has gone for obviously he can expect the expansion to have been going now, but does, does right. he have any idea 
you know, is this going to be just a faster third base with gateway style or, you know, faster robotics facility going for reaver style? Uh, does he have any idea of that right now? Let's see. Ruin has made a lot of zealot and kind of picked up a lot of workers at the same time and seeing those flying barracks. I don't know what that is for, but looks like Ruin is going to go for Mm, heavy, heavy, heavy army. I think heavy, heavy ground unit like three Zala with massive dragoon and very slow tech. His robotic facility is kind of delayed compared to motive. Yep. Now the first dragoon is out, uh, pressuring the bunker a little bit. We're still waiting on that dragoon range to finish, and uh, Ty at the same time now grabbing. The uh, two factories has the natural gas done as well. Um, do you can you anticipate any kind of aggressive push here? Uh, this is close position, um, so but do you do you think that this map lends itself to kind of the uh, three to five tank uh, aggressive push? Mm. Right now, Ty is completely blind in this in this game. He does not know what Ruin is doing. It can be River Drop, or it can be Dark Templar. It can be just heavy Dragon into taking another expansion but looks like Ruin is gonna go for super quick third base before 6 minutes 30 seconds that's quicker than 6 minutes 30 seconds looks like TY is just gonna do the standard one or two tanks into speed vulture and spider mine I think he wants to get some information down before he start choosing what he wants to do for the next next move Yeah, I mean, while uh, similar style as last time, getting Armory Academy, starting plus one upgrades as quickly as possible. So, uh, well, looks like uh, probably just going to go into maybe a macro style here from TY and going for a 2-1 timing. This map is very gas rich, so definitely can produce a lot of uh, siege tanks as well. Mm -hmm. Those two vultures wants to sneak out. However, Ruin is keep denying, not letting TY to move out those vultures. It looks like he's pulling back. Yep, knows that vultures could sneak around that from that bottom side there. Gonna, you're gonna try to see what's going on. A probe actually, interesting, is going to the uh, looks like three o'clock position, uh, heading on the right side of the map. Maybe uh, you think just to scout for something, or trying to maybe even get uh, or check for a hidden expansion. I think he is looking for uh, Terrence hidden expansion because he knows that Ty is, is Ty is uh, behind in this game because he picked up a lot of uh, workers in the beginning, so. TY has not much of an option, either play standard and go for super quick 2-1 upgrade or kind of gamble on this game, taking a hidden expansion and move out with heavy heavy tank vulture push before Prada start saturating those 3 base, 4 base into massive Zalot Dragon switch. And we see the Arbor Tribunal going down as well for Ruin, and now he's starting to add on the extra gateways as well. Uh, do you think he's on this map? Do you think he's going to go stasis or recall first and uh, pressure Terran? I know that TY is a little bit behind right now from the early pressure. Um, do you think that's a little bit better for recall? Mm, we don't know yet. Every product player have different different uh, strategy. Some people some people like to go for super fast stasis field with the first orbiter and try to break at Terran's third base, and some people. Go for recalls, but I have a feeling Ruin might gonna go for Stasis Field in this game because okay. Terran player cannot put much of a turret at this uh, third base location where he's taking towards to nine o'clock. There's not much of a what should I say ter terrain? Those terrains kind of like blocking, not letting Terran players to put turrets. So. Ty might hold this push. A small amount of army attacking. Okay, here we go. They're doing starting again on top of the siege tanks. Though he needs vulture reinforcements here. The SVs are going to start getting pulled off the line here, and it looks like he's just going to have enough here to hold off the uh, the dragoon force. There's three tanks on the low ground uh, in a very protective location, doing a great job of warding off those dragoons. Great, great trade by Ty. Ty did not have attack one upgrade when the fight happened, but. I thought Tiwa would lose that fight, but 
he managed to win win that trade. Yeah, I think that the uh, siege tanks on the low ground there didn't miss that many times, so uh, allowed him to really be uh, strong there. Shuttle is now out with a couple of uh, zealots. He's going to try to pressure. Uh, unfortunately, not enough dragoons there to support the uh, zealot drop, so he's going to have to pull back the dragoons. And next, he's going to go ahead into the main base and drop. Did manage to pick off those goliaths, so there is no anti-air just yet right now for uh, TY. Mm, those three zealots in the main base, buying some time. And also scouting how much of a fact how many factories that Terran has. Great information for Ruin. And another yeah. tank drop. Uh, not tank drop, but Zelda drop top of the tank and try to kill the uh, tank with the splash damage. Interesting, I, I don't see a um I don't see a second armor here for uh, TY. Is he just gonna go for a 2-0 attack, it looks like? Hmm. I think TY forgot to build the armory because normally, oh, there is a second armory. Normally, you need the you need that uh, armor one upgrade just to kind of handle of a uh, siege tank splash damage. Like th those kind of like tank shot, kind of killing your vultures at the same time. So you kind of need some of the armor upgrade as well. The first arbiter on the minimum on the center at the center. But only one dragon. That's not gonna be enough to clear spider mines. Yeah. Oh, all well, the vultures here. Taxi's probes are transitioning over to the fourth base. Oh, just, just not there. Didn't go up the ramp to attack them. Just and, in uh, time. Ty does have that drop kit there with the two tanks. Uh, was trying to go for some kind of aggressive attack there. Uh, try to maybe position the tanks behind some spider mines, get some pressure down. But the observer and arbiter did manage to see the dropship, so he had to return home and. Uh, Drop those two tanks off back at the third base area. More gateways putting down. How many gateways is this? 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 gateways versus currently 6 factory for TY. So both players trying to switch over to late game. Trying to max out very soon before that stays. Is that a stasis field upgrade? Okay, that, that is. Okay. So I think Ruin is trying to bust at the 9 o'clock location because he. When when Protoss. When Ruin starts to attack at the third base uh, parents expansion, he's he has the favor of a high ground in the beginning. So those tanks will become a bit useless. Not as useful as. um. How should I say? Like same ground, like same same level of uh, ground, high ground, I should say, low ground. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know that that definitely you know will, will cause a couple of misses to, to happen on the army. And um, one thing that <clears throat> one thing that is going to be important is how good the mine drags are here for Ruin when he does push down that ramp. There's a lot of spire mines there. Um, if he's got maybe a shuttle, I think he, he does have a shuttle with the army. If he can get some really good zealot bombs clear out the spider mines and allow the rest of his army to kind of push down the ramp there on top of those siege tanks would be very powerful for him. Also, a TY does have a little bit of a, a clump group of three tanks there that could get uh, put into one stasis, so that might also uh, cut the army for him. But Rune is trying to, looks like he's trying to find uh, some kind of weak point here uh, in TY's uh, setup. True. And TY has a lot of vultures. Very very good position of those uh, sea tank and ruin still not figured where to attack yet ty is now unseizing he does have that plus two attack upgrade plus one is still a little bit ways away there i think probably um another minute or so before it's done but ty is just gonna start pushing out he has seen where the armory is uh they were clearing out some scvs but now here comes almost like a backstab here ty's gonna have to return his army here will they be in time uh to defend what happened to the first Arbiter? Okay, he's still saving out that uh, Arbiter, okay? I think... He's trying to buy some time, and when... When Terran starts to climb up into the high ground, onto the high ground, he wants to flank from the both sides. Some of the army on the top. Oh, big spider mine there. A lot of those Dragoons there on the top flank are very badly damaged. Now, TY is doing a good job laying spider mines there on the right side to prevent the uh, flank from the center of the map. And there's an Arbiter sneaked into the main base, but there's a spider mine! 
Oh, Excellent. Big dude. spider mine. And uh, TY is definitely going to go for an attack now after Ruin lost so many units there. And uh, this is going to be very hard. I mean, going through this... Uh, Going through this left side of the map here, not a lot of area for the Protoss army to attack. The only really good opportunity, I think, is going to be when TY pushes down to the low ground right in front of the natural. TY really defend that uh, recall. And these turret army is very scary for Ruin. He does not have enough units. Looks like he is going to go for the base rush. Yeah, unfortunately, there is six siege tanks back at home here for TY, and a lot of spider mines as well. Uh, the Zealots are starting to get picked off here by the spider mines, and I don't think that this counterattack will do anything. He's gonna have to return home and uh, try to go for something. But meanwhile, the natural is already gone, and now he's forced to remain at the top of the ramp. He's gonna try to find the uh, perfect opportunity here to pounce on the army, but unfortunately, the TY that arbiter is, is too strong. Ah, uh, EMP. EMP on the arbiter that had 200 energy. I think he wanted to recall, but that was too late. Yeah, that's really like grabbing like. the fourth base now at the 9 o'clock expansion, pushing towards the Protoss base. And uh, unfortunately for Ruin, uh, just the uh, four base. Well, four base economy is still a decent amount, but just not enough gateways, I think, right now. Yeah, not enough gateways. And... Ah, there's the GG. That was excellent defense by TY when. Ruin wanted to do the recall in the main base, but those spider mines were placed really well. And there's a GG by Ruin. And thank you for watching. And if you guys enjoy watching these great games on Starcast TV, please hit the like button and subscribe button as well. We'll bring more fabulous games in the future.